All right, what is up, Transformer fans? This is the V build and review of Creon Micro Changer A1008 Galvatron. And here's his instruction sheet if it would focus. Uh, as you can see, the robot and the vehicle build, two in one, Creo Micro Changers. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. You, in the little baggie, the blind bag you get, you get 15 pieces, enough to build Galvatron himself. I'm going to set my uh, instruction sheet over here on the side so I can um, build him due to his specifications. But like I said, you get 15 pieces, and uh, I'll go ahead and first I'll start off with the naked robot build, just without any of the exterior micro changer parts on him. So you just, you're just you putting the regular body together as you would a normal Creon. There's his head, then you take his helmet, put it on, and his arm cannon. And here is Galvatron. Uh, in his naked robot mode, as you can see here, he's very nice. He's got lots of sculpt, not sculpted, painted on detail here on the chest. Of um, you can see there, his uh, very nice G1 accurate. His face is really, really cool. It's sinister. It's actually the Starscream head, but uh, this helmet is Sentinel Prime, so he has a very, very nice, um, just bare robot mode and you can see here he has Megatron's fusion cannon however it is orange so now going to take him apart slightly and begin the normal robot build which is with all his accessories what you want to do is you want to take this um, this vest piece here and slide it over as you can see it's got a Decepticon logo then you can go ahead and put his head back on and his helmet proper so there you go. And then on the back here, you're going to want to assemble his backpack. Actually, first, you want to take these little wheels and, golly, these pieces are flying everywhere tonight. You just want to take these little wheels and plug them into the side of his leg here. So that gives him a little bit of kibble. Then you want to build his backpack. You take this piece right here, then you get this piece, and you plug this piece into the bottom of this, like so. Then you take the cannon looking and you just plug that in right there. This makes this all a big old backpack. Then you take these two little antenna pieces and put one on each side. One on each side. So then you have that. Then you've got left over these two little double sided one bit pieces and you just plug those into the ends of that. So there you have his backpack done, and now all you got to do is just take it and plug it in right here on his back, and now you have Galvatron in his robot mode. As you can see here, he is very nice. Um, he's got a huge backpack, of course. However, nothing gets left behind. He, he is back heavy, so you're going to want to be wary of that. Nothing gets left behind, though, so everything gets incorporated into his robot mode. So there's that. Uh, he's very nice. He just has a big old backpack. So here we go. I'm going to take him apart, and we'll start again from to vehicle mode. All right, and here we are back again, stripped down to the piece-by-piece piece configuration. We're going to build his vehicle mode now. So what you want to do is you want to take his little leg pieces here, and you want to fold them backwards. So he's got his feet, you know, back like that. Then you want to take the little one by one bits here and just plug those into the feet Then you take these antennas and plug those into the end there and these do like to pop off then you can take the wheels and plug them back right there so there's that now you got the base of the tank done you just want to set that to the side then you take his chest here and you flip the arms up like he's going, yeah! <laughs> then you want to take his vest and put it right back over there. Um, then you take this piece here, and this plugs in like so over the head joint. Then this piece plugs into the end. You take his fusion cannon, which is now going to become the scope, and clip it on top here. And then you take his head and you plug it in 
right there, preferably facing downward. Then you can take the cannon little open mouth looking thing, stick it right there. Now you're not going to need his helmet for this. Then what I do is I usually kind of compress the arms and swing them back like so, so they aren't sticking up out of the way. And then you can take the two pieces and join them together. And here you have Megatron in his tank mode. And as you can see, as he was back heavy in robot mode, he is clearly front heavy in this configuration. Now you can do a little bit of splaying of the legs here to get him to actually stand up. The way the instructions have you put it together, they want the legs together. But if you do splay them, he will stand. So, there's that. So there's Megatron, or Galvatron rather, in tank mode. And speaking of Megatron, here he is incorporated with all the transformation pieces in order to create Megatron in tank mode. And just for giggles, robot mode. The beauty of this is actually the grays do match up perfectly. They're the same color of plastic, making this a very fun and creative alternate transformation. So, if you're not happy with the way Galvatron turns out in vehicle mode, you can always hook him up to Megatron. And here's the instructions. Just one little last look. If anything I said wasn't clear, this is how you do it. You can pause the video, or I'm going to talk a little bit about the figure overall. Uh, so Galvatron is very nice. He does end up being a little bit skewed in his vehicle mode, not very, not looking exactly like a tank and having some stability issues. But overall, he's a very nice robot mode. He does manage to have a backpack. However, you don't have any pieces left over. The only piece left over in the entire build is the helmet, and you can find a place to store that. That's good on you. I have yet to do so. So overall, I do think Galvatron's a very cool figure. He's a really neat addition, and I would pick him up. Thank you for viewing this video. And goodbye.